So the fraternity is now saying that they've been vindicated, that all of the facts have been laid out on the table in terms of the accusations that were made. Um, the fraternity is also saying this does a huge disservice to victims of sexual yeah. assault. Um, again, the chief of police said this doesn't mean that something yeah. didn't, horrible didn't happen to Jackie, but it certainly didn't happen at that fraternity party, Harris. Yeah, I, I want an investigation into what Rolling Stone was thinking. I, I don't know that an apology really does it. I know that they have the college, the university looking into how they do their processing mm -hmm. for, for how they vet the people they talk to. But we know from our own reporting here on the couch that they let a, a reporter determine that she just wasn't going to track any further than the website. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, she just wasn't going to do the complete job that we learned in Journalism 101. Right. You know, so I, I don't, this, obviously for the victims, this is, this is huge. Um, but also for journalism. Mm -hmm. I mean, I take it personally. Yeah. They didn't just get it Absolutely. wrong. It was egregious mm -hmm. how wrong they were. Well, Andrea, the reporter admitted that when she went to, she, was, she, she admitted that she had been visiting college campuses looking for a story. And so that plays into the narrative about campus rape, what is you know perpetuated on college campuses, are feminist groups on campus wanting reporters to write things like that and giving them stories that maybe aren't true? All the questions come up now as a result of this investigation not turning mm -hmm. up anything that corroborates her account. Yeah, this is the most dangerous form of journalism, as you point out, Harris, because they're just looking for stories, and if they don't get them, then they'll just make it up, or they'll use hyperbolic explanations that they don't validate and put them in and have them masquerading as journalism. But there's a bigger theme happening here, Katie. I mean, as you point out, this hurts women, this hurts victims, victims of sexual assault. And I'm going to speak slowly here so all the feminist blogs can get this one, because I'm sure they'll clip it. Um, mm -hmm. There is a war happening on boys yep. on these college campuses. Now, we see this fraternity. They can't show that they did anything wrong. We don't know if anything was done wrong. But, Katie, the DOJ has been involved, and Obama's administration is scrutinizing these college campuses to come down hard on cases of rape. And even at Harvard University, some of the most liberal professors, including Alan Dershowitz, have penned a letter to the Boston Globe saying there is no due process right. in these sexual misconduct conduct cases for these kids. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is a real problem. They say that there's no opportunity to discover the facts. There's no opportunity to confront witnesses and present a defense. This also hurts low Lower income students yeah. because they can't retain right. legal representation. They, can't fight back. Yeah. they cannot fight back. And so you have Lena Dunham, Rolling Stone. It is a theme in this country to go after boys in this rape culture. On campus. Now, there are absolutely mm -hmm. legitimate, legitimate reasons for them to do this. But what happens after they assassinate their character? What happens to Lena Dunham? Nothing. What happens to these fraternity boys? Absolutely nothing. And it hurts the women and the victims at the end of the day the yeah. most. Absolutely. Well, we're going to obviously keep looking at that, and we hope that in the future, Rolling Stone does more vetting because there are people's reputations at stake, and men also have some rights when it comes to his reputations not being ruined over non-factual reporting.